What's up guys, welcome back to channel, back to another video. And in today's video, we got something super crazy. Um, I've been trying to get my own custom speaker set for the E36M3, but my wife, uh, we ended up getting this package from Beamer Tech. Like guys, check this out. This looks absolutely insane. The quality is insane. I'm all about quality and this just looks absolutely stunning. And uh, obviously, it's not just the, the way it looks, it performs really nicely. So hopefully, the sound difference is gonna be really good. I'm actually gonna try to play some music, some like non copyrighted music before and play the exact same copyrighted music after and see if you guys can hear the difference but overall I think I'm gonna be hearing the difference more than you guys we got some amplifiers we got tweet uh, we got door speakers door tweezers um, I believe that's those two over there I'm not sure I think this is maybe the dash speaker as well and then we also got the full amp right here so this should be honestly an all direct plug-and-play uh, there shouldn't be any custom wiring needed but guys you know it's gonna be a good sound system when it comes with this amplifier I don't know if you guys are noticing also I am recording on a new g7x I'm gonna be recording with a like a G7X for like God knows how long. And uh, the other one, like there was a lot of dust on the lens and it was just getting super foggy. So I decided to actually borrow my wife's. This is my wife's camera, uh, believe it or not. And uh, it's perfect, it's working great. I'm absolutely loving it. I think the autofocus is pretty nice. Yeah, it works, it's pretty cool. So yeah, as I'm working on this, my brother's actually right back there. I don't know if you guys saw from a couple of videos before, there was actually water that got underneath the carpets because of the seals. My brother actually ended up fixing the seals, but we had to pull up the carpets and notice a lot of water. So um, in the past week, we just let the carpets dry out. We emptied out all the water in the car and everything is gravy and navy there. It's gonna be absolutely perfect once all that gets settled in. So yeah, my brother's working on that in the background. So if you guys are wondering what he's doing, that's what he's doing. I'm gonna go ahead and install these speakers for my wife because I feel like she's gonna be super happy and I'm just super excited to install these. And just to put it out there, guys, they are having a pre-Black Friday deal for you guys. 10 to 15% off the entire website. I think 15% off like audio stuff, like Apple CarPlay and stuff like that. And then 10% off their audio systems. So if you guys wanna check it out, this is a pre-Black Friday special. Code's gonna be linked down below. So if you guys end up liking the sound of this and hopefully if I like the sound of this you guys can get 10 to 15 percent off everything on their website you guys know that I'm a huge Beamer Tech fan because I've had Apple CarPlay in almost all of my cars I've had it on my i8 I currently have it in my m3 f80 I've had it in the 135 I just keep adding it to every single car because I absolutely love it and it's honestly I need to get it on this car next I first decided to do the speakers first because something we haven't done yet and then probably do the Apple CarPlay uh, in the near future before I actually install these I do want to mention one thing guys I actually got the full package they have three different sets of speakers for um, this BMW in particular. If you guys have Harman Kardon already, you guys are probably saying, oh, I don't need to upgrade. This actually is better than Harman Kardon. It's better than the Hi-Fi and is better than the regular. So this is actually like the best version you can get for your BMW, which is super nice. This is also, I don't really know much about amplifiers or honestly sound systems. This is my first sound system. But from what I read online, this is fully customizable. So um, for those of you guys who are huge audio experts, here's all the ports. This is how this bad boy looks. This is fully customizable. This is direct plug and play, so no splice. I see no nothing. It should come with everything you need in there uh, to just make this a direct plug and play, which is super nice. So yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering, plug and play check, is it better than stock and even Harman Kardon? Yes. My wife's car doesn't even have Harman Kardon. It has heads of display, heated seats, a bunch of other nice options. We got the red sports, sports seats, uh, but we don't actually have a good sound system. I believe this is just hi-fi. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a huge noticeable difference. I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on the doors first. I think that's the easiest thing I can do. I actually work on this side first and then move the car over and then work on that side. So uh, yeah. First things I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove this door panel. That's how we're gonna be installing the tweezers right here and the speaker right there. So uh, without further ado, hopefully, I've actually never uh, removed this door panel before, so hopefully uh, I don't break anything, but I mean, it should be a pretty easy install. <laughs> wait, 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 before I actually remove this door panel, I pretty much got everything prepped up, it's ready to be removed. Let's actually get in the car and just start up the sound system and just hear the difference. Hopefully you guys can hear the difference, I don't know if you guys will be able to, um, but let's, let's play a song before. Not bad for before. But the after is gonna be a lot better. <laughs> let's actually wait for the beat drop real quick. Hype music, bro. This sounds good. And just 
just like that, guys. We got the speakers installed. They look so much better. I wish you could actually have these exposed. I feel like they just look so much better. This is installed direct plug and play. Uh, the new one did come with its own wiring, but direct plug and play went right into there. Again, no issues with reinstallation. I think actually I need to push this back in. But other than that, perfect fit, man, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and just reassemble this door and knock out the other three doors. Door number two. I actually forgot guys, there's actually a harness that goes with the bigger speaker. Uh, so basically, you plug in their harness into the speaker and then you plug in the car harness into this harness. And I think it's basically like a little resistor or something and then you can pretty much mount it somewhere. So right, I'm gonna have to take apart the front door again and fix that, but it shouldn't be a big deal. this door so now that we have this door complete that door complete before I actually move the car I'm actually gonna do the amplifier on this side since we're here so to replace the amplifier guys you will have to remove this seat I think or at least kind of push it back so you don't have to unplug it but you do have to take out the four bolts for the seat yeah I think there's no other way around that so there's one bolt here one bolt here I believe there's a t45 bolts and there's also two in the back let's go ahead and get those out All right guys, now that we have the front and the rear is all removed, you can pretty much just push that. No need to unplug that. If you guys unplug that, you actually get the airbag light, so do not unplug that. Um, it's actually pretty clean down here, which is pretty nice. I mean, other than this stuff right here. But yeah, this should be held down by, I think, T T T25. So just four screws, and then you can remove the speaker as well. Obviously, the speaker is held down by a couple of screws, but any heels. So you do have to lift up the carpets just a little bit, but there's basically that silver screw right there, one right over here. Um, I don't think there should be any against this side because that would just be totally inconvenient. Um, and there should be like one back here, like right there as you guys can see. So yeah, let me go ahead and get the speaker out and I'll get back to you in a minute. And this is the original speaker. It is super filthy. After 130,000 miles, that's how that looks like. So honestly, after 130,000 miles, who knows? This could have went bad and uh, this would have been necessary regardless. But oh my God, guys, look at this piece of junk and look at this. Oh, that looks so good alpha one speakers boys let's go ahead and install these bad boys oh this looks so good it's just the opposite process to install guys pop out the old one install the new one exact same screws holes this doesn't need any special wiring use the exact same wire This is just art. This looks so good. I don't want to even want to cover up with that ugly grill, but I have to. I don't want to get that damaged, but that looks so good. All right, at this point, guys, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall that, put back the seat, and uh, that is over with. And now that we pretty much got this door done, this door done, and the amplifier underneath this seat, now we're actually going to get the car to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and knock out the other side. It's the exact same stuff, the door and the door underneath the seat, and I'll show you guys the rest of the speakers once I get those installed. So, uh, yeah, that's the beauty of YouTube. You guys don't have to see me go through all of that. So, three, two, one. And just like that guys you're officially done i went ahead and installed the amplifier underneath the driver's seat yeah guys uh i'm literally editing this and i don't know why i keep saying amplifier amplifiers what's in the trunk the subwoofer is underneath the seat why did i say amplifier a million times that is the subwoofer underneath the seat just to put it out there i am ah what's going on with me? all the speakers on this side as well i didn't make the mistake i used the cables that came with it uh was i actually really am enjoying about doing this install i'm a real like type of person like i love boxes i love unboxing and i love reboxing it's some of my most satisfying things i don't know why i just really enjoy it and this is completely random but these are the original speakers so again that's original 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 these are original tweeters this is the alpha one tweeter and the alpha one uh uh speaker that actually goes into the dash you're gonna be installing these pretty soon but we got everything else right Right here and uh, we can go ahead and repackage it put it away which is really nice and even this because that's just really comes to show you guys how direct plug and play this is um, these are the original ones super filthy too uh, but I got to put it right back in the box so these don't get damaged or if I want to sell them I have a box to ship them in so that's super nice but anyway we are down to two more speakers we have a tweeter and a speaker that goes onto the dashboard go ahead and install those two bad boys just like that come on come on let's not hopefully break this thing all right we got we got one out I think at this point and carefully pry up all the way around now. Okay, thankfully no broken tabs, that's a huge plus. Here is the speaker and the tweeter, right? Actually, I don't even have a tweeter. What? What? 
What? What is going on right there? <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and see if I'm just missing this or uh, see if I don't have a wire for this. That's so random. Like, anyways, let's, let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. We'll have to use a really small tool. So this is what I got going. Unfortunately, I cannot use my impact gun, but uh, this should work. Now that I have the three screws out, this thing should just come out and we should just have that one cable to disconnect right there. And from the looks of it, guys, I have this wire for the speaker, but I don't have a tweeter for this car, which is super random. Like, I'm not seeing any wires. So anyways, that's super random. I thought that all cars come with that. I guess don't order that. <laughs> you don't have to order that. <laughs> let's just go ahead and replace this bad boy now i see what's going on guys so uh yes i i looked at the harness i was like oh this is actually a more sophisticated harness than the other ones and uh basically where it shows mid out i have the alpha one speaker and then where it actually says tweeter out right there i don't know if you guys can see that yep right there uh that actually goes for the tweeter and then now where it says in i guess that's where you just connected to that one cable that we had so now we actually have a tweeter that we never had which is kind of cool so without further ado i mean you want to get this thing installed so just like that guys i have the tweeter and the speaker installed it was a, such a pain to get that screw in but i finally got it in there uh basically what i did was i actually put the the head on there and then i used some pliers to twist that head and that's how i got that screw in there but anywho those i just want to make sure those two work so i'm actually gonna go ahead turn on the car and let's just play the music again real quick yeah buddy it's working <laughs> all right let's wait for the beat job boys Before the amplifier, this is before this is before installing the amp in the back. What? There's a noticeable difference. That's insane. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Alpha one for the win, guys. This thing sounds insane. Now we definitely need to get that amp in the trunk because once we get that in, we'll get the proper music, the proper audio, and it's just gonna sound so good. So uh, next step is install that grill back, and I'm probably gonna get back to my other house and install that amplifier. And this is the next morning, guys. I have a great sense of fashion. You guys already know, trying to rock 20 colors all in uh, one outfit. But any heels, don't mind my fashion statement. <laughs> um, we are installing the amplifier this morning. I couldn't install it last night because I had to go pick up my wife. Uh, she was uh, uh, doing something, and uh, you may had to go pick up and be the good husband that I am. Speaking of good husband, modifying my wife's car. <laughs> Let's go ahead and install the amplifier, the Alpha One amplifier. So there's no coding necessary. Again, this amplifier is fully customizable. There's no coding necessary. It's just direct replacement. Um, there's a few other wires that stick out so you can do uh, you know, more tweaking to it if you like. But I mean, it, it plugs into the direct harness and it plugs in through the direct bracket into the car and you're done. Like no coding, no nothing. So that's super nice. I actually had to watch a couple videos on it last night myself because I was like, hmm, I mean, is this hard to do? But actually, it's not too shabby. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the trunk. The only thing that's unfortunate, unlike the E chassis, the F chassis, it's got a bunch of the, the inner liner of the trunk. So uh, let's start getting the trunk. So everything I pulled out of the trunk so far didn't require any tools, which was super nice. But this is what we're trying to get. The amplifier is underneath here. So uh, yeah, that is the goal. We need to get underneath here. In order to do that, we need to remove this. And in order to remove that, we have to remove this. So uh, all you need is pretty much a flathead. I hope I have a flathead at this house. I guess I'll find out in a minute. And finally, guys, we got to the amplifier. I'm also noticing this wire right here. It looks like it's going to the taillights. These taillights did look aftermarket to me because they this this is a 2013. These are LCI taillights. So these are LC, like aftermarket LCI taillights on this car. So I mean that's a pretty cool mod that we actually already got with the car. So that's pretty awesome. But uh any hoozles. We finally got to the amplifier. Here's the connection right over here. We can actually disconnect that right now. So I'll go ahead and click on that tab back here. Actually, probably easy when we actually get that out. There's one 10 millimeter, and then we pretty much just slide this entire thing this way and this whole thing should just come out just like that guys this whole thing comes out it's only held down by one screw and now i'm in my kitchen super super random i know it's just a cutting the lawn outside i hate being in an hoa area i don't know if you guys know what hoa is but basically um they they can they just cut the lawn whatever they want whenever they want and there's nothing i can do about it and i don't know the time 
Honestly, so any hoozles, that's why we're trying to find a new shop or something else. We'll see what we have to do. But any hoozles, guys, we have the amplifier from the car. There's one screw to take it out. It's an eight millimeter, and then this thing pretty much just slides out. And what's nice about theirs as well, you pretty much just take off all these little things there, and then you slide this one in, which is super nice. Again, it comes with the harness, and it comes with this. You might as well plug it in if you need to use the USB feature. I'm actually not probably gonna ever use this, but I'm gonna plug it in anyways, just because I'm not trying to go through all that work again and have it super easy to access. So if I pop up the top, cover I can access that also something I just realized guys it actually comes with a pry trimming tool set honestly if I wouldn't knew I, I came with this oh man guys if you order this kit it comes with this I should have known that shout out to Beamer Tech this is super nice like I've honestly never had like this is a really high quality trim set so now I have one of these and I have a back for it, which is super cool again that's completely for free without further ado let's go ahead and get this off and transfer this one here So like I said guys, we're gonna go ahead and just plug in the USB right here and just make this easy access from that little flap right there. What's going on, little muffy? Uh, <laughs> scared her. Um, and then these two connections right here plug in right back here. This one right there and that one right there. And then the only thing you have to do honestly is just remount this like the factory and plug this into the factory harness and you guys are good to go. And just like that guys, we are in the car. The sound system is playing. I want to get the full experience driving it while listening to this. So far guys, way better than the hi-fi or the stock system that we had. We didn't even have the Harman Kardon, so this was definitely needed. Okay, okay. I want to hear when the beat drops. So far I feel it's a little bit more clear, which I like. Not a little bit, a lot more clear. Alright. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. Woo! Actually, I might even need this for the M3. I have a Harman Kardon in the M3, but this sounds better. Woo! Buddy! <laughs> Guys, sound systems? I never really cared about it up until this moment. That's pretty sick. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to conclude this video uh, with this outro song right here. So if you guys wanna cop this, make sure to get their pre-Black Friday deal. It's from now to like, I have the dates down below in the description. But yeah, basically if you guys use my code down below, you guys will get 10 to 15% off everything in the store. It's their biggest sale they've ever had. So make sure to check it out down below. <sighs> but yeah guys, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. I'll see you on the next one.